Hello, it's Jazz Rose, and like always, I can't control myself. Drop it. decided to purchase the entire Boohoo Hembro collection. I think it's called the Hembro Edit. I actually made a really odd, shocking, weird discovery this morning. I will tell you all about that. But first, I would like to talk about my clothing brand, Moody Monday. This is my newest hoodie, crowd pleaser. The colors are like retro 90s kind of colors you know it kind of gives off those vibes <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to remind you guys about moody monday i run it completely by myself i get help printing the stuff of course but i manage orders by myself i pack them and send them and all that stuff i don't have many items on the website right now i have this hoodie i have a beanie i have the uh, moody motel hoodie and jacket and i also have the have a nice day metal style hoodie go ahead and check it out the link will be in the description because of coronavirus i can only ship within australia if you're not from australia i'm sorry but i will be keeping everyone updated and I'll let you know as soon as international shipping is available again. I will let you know, but in the meantime, if you're Aussie, go ahead and treat yourself. But um, any kind of support means a lot to me. Just follow me on Instagram, comment on my photos, share them somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, just any kind of support would really mean a lot to me. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about what I discovered this morning. I was on my computer saving the photos that I'm going to be showing once I show each product, and the photos were a little bit extra hard to find. There was one top that I couldn't even find a photo of in the color that I bought. I googled the product name and the color, nothing would show up. So that's a bit odd, yeah. There's a hoodie in there that I bought and I went to go save a photo of it. I, I go to my emails and I click on the product that I bought and it takes me straight to the product page. It took me to a different hoodie of a different style, like pattern. So that hoodie that I bought is completely off the website. Another weird thing that's happened is there's on the website there's a collections tab. The Hembro edit is not in that tab. I couldn't find it, so I thought I'd go through each tab and there's a tab called Inspire Me. That's where you find the Hembro edit. They only have like 19 things for their collection now. I'm pretty sure they had a lot more than that. And I think this is the last thing. I was scrolling all the way through Boohoo's Instagram page, all the way down to when the edit was first announced. And I can't find anything. I think they've like deleted the post. I think I remember looking at one of Tammy's posts announcing it and all the comments were hate comments. Everybody hated these clothes. And I think that's the reason why Boohoo has kind of like, they're trying to forget about it. A lot of the things I show you here might be hard to get. I'm sorry this is taking so long. I just, I just wanted to talk, okay? Oh, another thing. I think this collection is extremely unpopular because sometimes before I film or upload videos I search what I'm doing in YouTube to see what other people have like titled their videos, what they're doing in the thumbnail, stuff like that. I googled Boohoo Hembro Haul or just Boohoo Hembro and there was one video. Someone with 1000 subscribers had the only Boohoo Hembro Haul like dedicated haul. Which is a bit odd knowing that the Hembros are like a very well-known Instagram famous family and there's only one dedicated haul video on YouTube. So knowing that a lot of people were hating on this collection, I was going through all the products that were available. I think half of them or even most of them were out of stock, of out of my size. A lot of them were like plus size or maternity exclusive. So I ended up getting 11 items out of I don't know how much? At least 19? But yeah, I was only able to get 11 products, which is pretty much the entire collection in my size. Just hear me out, I have nothing against this family. I do not hate them at all. I think the clothes were a bit eh. 
the models looked uncomfortable. All right, for those that haven't clicked out yet, I'm gonna open the first bag, which is the biggest one. I waited a month for this stuff, by the way. So within a month of this collection being released and me receiving them, so much has gone down. Oh, lucky me, first item is a dress. Oh God, this is completely mesh, isn't it? I didn't think it was completely mesh. Awesome, I've gained like five kilos since being in self-isolation. So wearing a completely mesh dress, I don't know how this is gonna go. It's got dragon prints on it. I'm pretty sure this came in pink as well. And it's a high neck, so my makeup's gonna go all over it. Here is the product photo. I'll try to remember to have a photo up. Time to try on the dress. <laughs> okay, so if you've watched my first impressions videos before, you know that I am blunt and brutal and Hi, okay, my butt just came out of this dress from lifting my arms up. Excuse my bra and undies, I wasn't expecting it to be completely mesh. I don't know if the sleeves are meant to go all the way down to my hands, but they don't. The high neck is actually not bad, like it's actually stretchy, not like some things I've tried on in the past. So the dress is a mini dress and basically don't lift your arms up, oh god. <laughs> No! I just can't picture it being worn by somebody who has even a good body. Like, I just can't picture it. <laughs> Thought I'd get this out of the way. This is the top that I couldn't get a photo for. Oh god, this is gonna be really see-through. This is a white singlet. What do they call it? They call it a vest. Oh, this is just recycled rib strappy top. And as you can see, can you see that? Can you see my hand through it? My big boobs are gonna have no fun wearing this top. <laughs> can you see this? This is why people with big boobs cannot wear tops like this. They're nice, I think, but this happens and I don't like it. I look weird. <laughs> the top is really nice and lightweight and it's actually longer than I thought it would be, so that's really good. I really like a long crop top, not one that's like here. It's actually not as see-through as I thought it would be. Can you see my bra? I'm blind, I can't tell. These next two items are a jeans and denim jacket set. They are like a light, like a very light acid wash. I don't think I'm gonna suit this. <laughs> These are the jeans. I got them in a size 10, which is a small. They're mum jeans. So, I don't know if a 10 was a good idea. And here is the jacket. I could probably wear this. Actually, no, I don't like how light it is. All right, well, I'm gonna try them on together with this top. All right, first impressions. The jacket isn't actually that bad, but are my arms like super long or something? I don't get it. <laughs> the jeans, I should have gone a size 12 instead of a size 10. It's very tight around my waist and a little bit tight around my thighs. This is what it looks like with this top. See, it doesn't look that bad, but like, I would not wear this out. If I went to, like, the main part of my town wearing a matching jacket and jeans set, I would be laughed at because it's such an out there outfit for, like, my town. Does anyone else live in a town like that? If you, like, if you wear staple clothes, if you wear very out there outfits, you'd get laughed at. Or is that just my town? Or is that just me thinking that people are gonna laugh at me? See, if I lived in Melbourne, then I could probably get away with wearing this outfit. But I don't live in Melbourne, so yeah. <laughs> it's not bad, I just, it's very bright. <laughs> this next one I'm pretty sure is also a matching set. Ruched top and leggings soft rib set. Oh no. <laughs> if you watched my active wear video, like a couple of videos ago, I was talking very badly about ruched bum. These leggings have a ruched bum and they're very thin. This is the top. Oh my god. I couldn't find a photo of the front of the set. Maybe I just wasn't looking properly. But this is very cropped. And the back is even more cropped. No! This is by far the most unflattering set I have ever worn. Let me just take one step back. Look. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you the back. This is horrible. What? 
Just wait until you see the pants though. Oh my god. I don't know if they're meant to be high-waisted because the ruched part goes all the way up. I can't really show you because my camera is that bad, but you can see my undies, right? It's so thin and see-through and what the hell? It's so thin. This isn't even comfortable. I feel gross. My boobs are hanging out. All right, the last item from this first bag is, I think it's a dress. So this dress actually feels pretty nice. Um, it's a tie strap dress, so you can have it however loose you want. It's ruched at the front too. I don't know how well you can see. That's not really helping, is it? Oh, there we go. See, it's ruched at the front and it has cups for where your boobs should be. Huh. Okay, I actually really love this dress. It feels nice. It's comfortable. It's not see-through. My boobs don't fit in the designated cups, but it's okay. I really like this dress. The straps, you definitely need someone to help you tie them up, I reckon. Just so they're even and they don't annoy you. But yeah, this is a nice dress. I really like it. I feel good in it. Not when I turn to the side. But from the front, I feel good. If you can see the line where the cups are meant to be, and then you see where my boob ends. I really wish they made cupped clothing like this that are made for bigger boobs. That'd make me feel so good. Now up to the second bag. I realized that I tore the bigger bag like right in the middle. So now I have to find a different bag to return all this stuff. <laughs> Guess what? I have another another fully mesh dress to try on. It's kind of high neck, I think. It's long sleeve. Oh, it's not fully mesh. Look at that. Only the sleeves are mesh and like the front of it, but it has lining. That's good. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna like this one a lot better. And it looks like it has some shape to it. All right, I'm happy about this one. Haven't even tried it on, but like, I'm hopeful. Hey, if you if you're out one night and you you go home with a, a person and you know they if they want to undress you, just go. It didn't work. This dress is so much better than that blue one because it it's lined and I feel like it's very secure and it has shape and I I still am never gonna wear it but it's so much better than the first one. <laughs> it's also very short, so maybe be careful when bending down, but like, look at this. I actually like it, but I don't go out, so I'd never wear it. It'd be good for one Instagram photo, then that'd be it. <laughs> I had to buy some dad shorts. They're not short like regular shorts, and they're not long like Bermuda shorts. They're dad shorts. Oh God, these are so ugly. All right, well, I'm gonna go put a top on and see what this looks like. Oh, yay. They're not actually as ugly as I thought, but just, just picture this in your head. Your old man, your dad or your grandpa wants you to go work out in the shed with him. And he says, go put on your ugliest man clothes. And this is what you wear. <laughs> um. <laughs> So if I had a flat stomach, then maybe I could wear them, but oh my god. I'm wearing a size 12. It's pretty tight and like restricting around this area, but then because they're so high-waisted, they got a bit of room at the back. I know someone else can rock these, but I can't. This next item is an oversized PU blazer. This also came in white white. It feels like very cheap quality. This is probably like 60 bucks on the website. All right, well, this is what a PU leather look blazer looks like. Oh, this would keep me warm all day. I just don't think I can look good in a blazer, especially one that looks like leather and oversized. Oh my god, no! My cat's trying to eat the, the gel ball things. Oh my god, they're gonna be all over my bedroom. <laughs> We're almost done. We've got three things left to show. This is the hoodie I was talking about earlier. Basically, this hoodie that I showed, you cannot buy at all on the website. Ew! So I was going through my order email and I, then I clicked on this product and it took me to this jumper. 
straight up, this hoodie feels very thin. Oh wow, that is super thin. All right, let me just show you a little comparison, okay? This is the inside of Boohoo's jumper. As you can see, that is super thin. But wait, this is a hoodie from my clothing brand, Moody Monday. So, as you can see, this is very soft. Can you see that, like, can you see how soft that is? Super soft material on the inside and it keeps you so warm and it's not thin like Boohoo's jumpers. And oh my god, don't even get me started about Pretty Little Things jumpers. This was part of a set, by the way. It came with, well not came with, but you could also get some joggers. I was gonna get the set but the joggers weren't in my size. They were sold out of so many things. Okay, something snapped. I feel like the tag just came off. That was very hard to get over my head. What the hell? What is wrong with all the sleeves? This is tiny. Look at that. What the hell? This is hideous. It is so thin. I don't think it's meant to be cropped. It's like it's been shrunk by like 50% in the dryer. Let me look at the tag. Oh, I got a size 10. Why did I do that? Oh, I remember. This was not available in a, like, any size bigger than a size 10. So I just thought, like, I really want to see what this is like. So I got the only size that was available. It was a size 10. That's why it's so small. But, like, usually hoodies are oversized, even if you get a size small. Like, the hoodie that I was wearing, my hoodie at the start of the video, that's a size medium, and it's massive. I have two items left, and they are both dresses. This is a black one, and the last one I have is a white one. Oh, no, my camera's going flat. No. Oh, this feels nice. Oh, oh no. The straps are clear. You know, just because you have a clear strap doesn't mean it's invisible. It doesn't look good. Clear strap ruched slinky mini dress. The slinky feels really nice, but you probably, can you see the light? Can you see through it? It's very thin. I don't, I don't get like why it's so thin. This is probably not cheap. I don't know. <laughs> so it's ruched at the front. Usually they're ruched like on the sides or at the back, but this is ruched right in the middle on the front. I hate everything about this dress. The ruched part in the middle, like separates my boobs and makes them look bigger somehow. The straps are so unnecessary. Just make it a bando dress. This is definitely not a mini dress. It's a midi dress. Did I read it wrong? I don't, I don't know. I can't be bothered. I have to leave in like two minutes. So yeah, the ruched in the middle is very uncomfortable and unflattering. I just, I loved, I love the ruched style, but this dress does not look good. <laughs> I don't think there is a way for me to make it look good. <laughs> this is the last dress. I'm just trying to figure out where to open it. This is hook and eye detail mesh sleeve midi dress. Hook and eye details. I can't say it fast. I feel like I'd stuff it up. Uh, not good for when you have big boobs because there's always gaps. Oh, okay. Forget everything I just said. This is fake. It's just a slip-on dress. What's the point? It'd look better without it. So anyway, um, the top part and the sleeves are mesh. It has uh, very small cups. Ew! My cat just peed on the floor. This is what I get for shutting my bedroom door for 40 minutes. I hate my life. I couldn't even be bothered doing up the... Uh, middle part i have to leave in like 30 seconds so it's not done it is very see-through you can see my undies through the dress the bottom part isn't tight so the closure parts are kind of just rattling constantly like whenever you're walking it's not really a flattering dress i don't think like it's not sucking me in it's not doing me any favors I don't like it. <laughs> this haul was very disappointing, but I wasn't expecting much. It seems that this collection isn't very loved by 
a lot of people. <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below what your favorite item from this haul was or like your favorite one to hate. Also, let me know if you would like me to buy someone's complete collection in the future. So it could be from Boohoo as well. It could be Pretty little thing. I vowed never to shop there again, but I'm probably going to. I could go to Misguided. I don't know where else. Let me know. Nasty gal. Also, don't forget to check out my shop, Moody Monday. Everything you need to know will be in the description. You can follow the shop on Instagram to show you support. You can follow me on Instagram to show you support. And if you would like to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. That will really mean a lot to me. And until next time, goodbye.